Yo, check it out, man. Y'all know what it is, man. The big homie KXL, man. I'm back on the YouTube again, man. Look, so I want to talk to y'all today about how to become a bodyguard. This is how to become a bodyguard 101. Let's get it. All right, man. Let's jump right into it. I ain't going to waste y'all time just here for a little bit, man. So let's get right into it, man. How to become a bodyguard 101. First and foremost, you got to be licensed. I don't care how you look. I don't care if you're 6'8", 6 6'10", 6 6 foot, 5'11". You're not licensed. You're not a bodyguard. Period. You have to have a license. A lot of people walking around right now, just because they have the look and they know certain people, they're walking around with a gun and everything, but not knowing that it's consequences between them. You could go to jail for that. If you if you if you portraying a bodyguard and you're not licensed by the state, you could go to jail for that. That's bad time. That's federal time. So first and foremost, you have to be a licensed bodyguard. You can't be out there because you look a certain way, so yeah, I'm gonna be a bodyguard. No, if you're not licensed, you're not a bodyguard, and you can go to jail for that. I'm just being real with y'all. Number two, you gotta have some kind of knowledge of becoming a bodyguard. You can't just be out there free balling, willy nilly, protecting somebody's life, and you don't have no kind of understanding of what you're doing or no kind of knowledge of anything about becoming a bodyguard or being a bodyguard. That's how you get hurt, you get your client hurt, get somebody killed. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have some kind of knowledge of what you're doing. You can't be out there using your size. And just thinking you're a bodyguard. No, if you don't know what you're doing in certain situations, you could be out of there. You know what I'm saying? You could get somebody hurt. You could get yourself hurt, your client hurt, both of y'all hurt, somebody killed. So you can't be out there becoming being thinking you're a bodyguard because you look a certain way and people see you as, okay, he's a bodyguard. Number one, you're not licensed. You know what I'm saying? Number two, you're walking around thinking you Superman. No. It could be the smallest person that can get you out of there. So you gotta have some kind of knowledge. Some kind of understanding of what you're doing when certain situations happen because that's how you can get yourself hurt and yourself killed. So becoming a bodyguard, like I said, number one, become licensed. You got to get licensed. Number two, do your research. Do some studying because at the same time, using your size for an advantage and you got to realize this is not a, something you could do. You can't play a bodyguard. This is not a job that everybody can do because it's a dangerous job. You know what I'm saying? You're protecting somebody's life. You're protecting their client life. And at the same time, you want that client to go to their destination and make it back home safe to their kids. You know what I'm saying? So have some kind of knowledge of what you're doing and what, what it takes to become a bodyguard. So do your research. You want to become a bodyguard, that's cool. But do some studying. Do some research. All right, man. Number three. Number three. Number three is essential. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you got people out there that just be it. You feel me? But... I'm I'm big on that. You know what I'm saying? If you're a bodyguard, you got to be in some kind of shape. Period. You got to be in some kind of shape. You can't be out there just looking all... You got to be in some kind of shape, man. Your help is important to what you're trying to do. Becoming a bodyguard. Because you got to realize, bodyguard it pertains a lot of walking. It's 40 plus hours. Protecting your client. Moving people out of the way so they won't touch your client. You got to be always on alert. This That shit is tiring. So you got to be in some kind of shape and be ready for what, for whatever happens, becoming a bodyguard, you know what I'm saying? So being in shape, your help is important. Being in shape is essential when it comes out of being, becoming a bodyguard because you need that. You need yourself, you need your help, you need your strength, you need some kind of something to help you get out of certain situations if something was to happen. God forbid, you know what I'm saying? Because the whole point of becoming a bodyguard or being hired as a bodyguard is to get your client to their destination and back home safe. And yes, it's good to for nothing to never happen. But if something happened, you got to be in some kind of shape to be able to get yourself and that client out of that. Or you can't be a, you can't you can't be a bodyguard and you out of shape. You have no kind of win, no kind of strength, no kind of nothing that you could bring to the table to get yourself you get yourself or your client out of a situation. No, that's not gonna fly. So make sure you get your health up. You know what I'm saying? Get some kind of shape. If you want to become a bodyguard and be in and be successful in this uh, profession, all right. Number four, being calm and having a level head in certain situations is the best thing you could ever do. Becoming a bodyguard. Don't number for, for me. Don't use your size for advantage because you're gonna be the first person they're gonna take out if something was to happen because you're the bodyguard. So yes, let me take the bodyguard out so I can get what I want. So in any kind of situation, you know, your client is getting touched or. Somebody's bought in your client or whatever. Be calm and keep a level head because if you come to somebody and they're already irate or they're already frustrated, trust me, it's gonna be it, it won't it won't turn out good. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a you gotta keep your calm, keep your keep your wits together 
and keep a level head. So if something was to happen, approach it in a, of course you gotta do your job, but if you feel like you could de-escalate the situation by talking, do it. Don't just come all macho and thinking you're Superman because you gotta realize them bullets don't have, they don't care who you are. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I'm just being upfront. They, they, they don't matter. You come to somebody and you got a size on you to somebody that's smaller than you or somebody that's bigger than you or the same size, but you come in to them as a threat and they don't, they're don't not into all that fighting stuff. No, man, they're going to get you out of there. You know what I'm saying? So, them, hey, don't don't be all that out there using your size for advantage and trying to do things just to to, to you to think it because you're a bodyguard. No, man, just keep it keep a calm and level head. You know what I'm saying? And try to de-escape the situation. And again, the whole job is to get the client to where they got to go and back home safe to their family. Keep a level head. Keep your calmness. Let's get it. All right, number five. You got to be able to adapt in whatever environment or whatever situation you're in. You know what I'm saying? So you may have a client that, that like being at the ratchet spots. You know what I'm saying? They might have a client that like being at, you know, laid back type type vibe spots. You know, so you might have a client that want to be in an upscale ballroom type spot. You never know, but you got to be able to adapt in any situation. You know what I'm saying? So I want to lean more towards on the... The situation where you've got a client that like to be at the ratchet hood spots because they want to feel important that they got a bodyguard so they can wear all their chains and spend money and stuff like that. You got to learn how to adapt in that situation because that's a dangerous situation. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he feel like he hired you to do your job so he could do whatever he want. At the end of the day, he know he got a bodyguard that's going to protect him in this case somebody tried to do something. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, again, like I said, keep a level head. You know, keep you calm, but at the same time, you got to keep your head on the swivel when you're in areas like that because something can pop off at any time. Like, you never know that person that hires you might have enemies. You don't know. They're not going to tell you everything. He just hires you to be a bodyguard, so in case somebody looking looking for him, you there to protect him. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, that's your job. You 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 signed up for us. You got to do your job if something was to happen. But at the same time, if you're in that area, you got to learn how to adapt in that area. You can't be walking around all timid and you supposed to be the bodyguard because at the end of the day they're gonna look at you like, okay, he got a bodyguard. That bodyguard seems like he's pretty friendly. They're gonna test you. You know what I'm saying? And then bam, you end up getting got, and then the, the person that hired you getting jacked or something serious happening. So you gotta learn how to adapt. Keep your cool, but let keep your cool, but have your demeanor to the point where it's like, hey, you know what? I'm I'm doing my job. So if something was to happen, it ain't gonna be as easy as you think it's gonna be. You feel me? So just learn how to adapt in any situations. And that shit can happen on a in a situation where you at somewhere where it's like a ball. You never know. It's anything happen at any time, man. So just like, all I'm saying is whatever situation, whatever uh the situation brings for us, what what y'all the location, just make sure that you be able to adapt, keep your head in the swivel, and learn how to get yourself out of situations if it's if something was to happen because Again, this is you being a bodyguard. This is you getting your client to safety and learning how to make quick decisions to get that person back home to his family. This is part one of how to become a bodyguard one-on-one. -on -one. I'll see you guys on part two. Let's get it.